Streamer fishing has never been a game of numbers. You're not looking for 30 fish, you're looking for one fish. You aren't looking for a fish, you're looking for the fish. But when it all comes together, it is a beautiful thing. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. So, today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't really got to do much this year, which is go streamer fishing for uh, more than like a few hours. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm at some water that's relatively new, at least for me, and my goal is to catch 20 inch wild brown trout. Now I have fished this particular body of water a couple times, but not enough to learn it, just enough to know that they do exist here. So this video is just gonna be basically me looking for a 20 inch wild brown on a streamer. Um, it could take me a day, could take me two days, could take me a week, could take me a month. I have absolutely no idea. So stay tuned and yeah, let's see if we can uh, tie on a streamer and catch some big wild browns for you guys. But before we get too far into this video, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Red's Flies. So Red's Flies has actually sponsored a few videos in the past, but if you don't know who it is, it is a Georgia-based small business with the mission to sell flies to raise money for conservation. So when you go to check out, there's gonna be a little box and it's gonna ask you what conservation organization that you'd like to donate to. And something like 5% of all proceeds goes towards conservation. And they've got all sorts of flies. They have streamers, they have Euronymphs, they have regular wet flies, and they have dry flies. So anything you could possibly want, they have. And you get to donate to conservation at the same time. So it's a win-win. So you guys can go buy some flies right now and use code HFA to get 15% off your next order. The link for the Instagram and the website will be in the description below. So please, please, please go check them out. And a huge shout out to Red's Flies for sponsoring yet another video. So let's get into it. Let's try to catch some browns and go check out Red's Flies. I literally just cast it into this pocket, guys, right in front of me and just hooked a nice brown. Eight literally at my feet. Holy cow. He's not huge. Oh my gosh. But it's a decent fish. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Dang it, I wasn't recording, but that's so cool. Oh, he's a fat, healthy fish, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first fish of the day, and he's got a mouthful of meat. It's not like a mega giant brown. He's probably, you know, hold on, he's got the line tangled on him. This isn't a giant brown, but he's probably, you know, 16 to 18 with a mouthful of meat does not get any better than that man it just doesn't so we'll go ahead and get this guy released and then uh keep streamer fishing because we've got a few good pockets in here that we should be able to catch some fish out of and hopefully i'll actually record for him what a day to be alive man i'm just so happy to be back on the streamer game you know you're somewhere mr brownie no point in being bashful No point in being bashful. Might as well come out to play and say hi. I mean, I'm gonna release you at least. You know, I'm a, I'm a decent person. I'm not saying I'm like the greatest thing. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be, you wouldn't want to get caught, but you know, if you're gonna get caught by somebody, at least I'm gonna release you, you know? If the sun would go away, I bet I'd be better shot at catching one. You guys ever just sing to yourself while you're fishing? Because I do, quite often actually. I'd argue that it's what I do the most. Any browns? Hmm? There he is, dude. There he is, man. Literally just said any browns, immediately. That's a nice fish. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> 
Oh man, sometimes talking to yourself is the way to do it. Oh, that's a real nice fish, boys. I don't think he's 20, but let's grab the net real quick. If I had the net ready, I'd already been netted him. Oh, he might be 20. Oh, he, he, you know, he might be 20. <laughs> Jeez, these fish are just unbelievably. Dude, you got way too much. Can you chill out? Seriously? All right, guys, I'm gonna hold this fish up real quick. I'm not gonna get a measurement on her, him, just because I'm not super worried about it right now, but there's a little, whoa, chill. There's the ye old brown trout. He's probably, whoa, I can feel him about to kick. Ooh. Keep him in net and he'll stay healthy. He's probably like 19, he might be 20. I doubt it though, probably in the 18 to 19 inch range, which is a nice fish. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this fish released. Looks like another cloud's coming by, so I think we'll catch a bunch more fish because this is the second fish I've caught and it's a really nice one. So we'll get this guy released and then keep on fishing. I don't even know what that is. It feels like it's got some weight to it. What are you? Are you a brown? It's either got some weight to it or I snagged it. I don't know. It's got some weight to it. Is that a brown or a rainbow? It's a, either a brown or something like that. It. it might be a tiger. Nope, it's a good brown. Hey there, buddy. So he was in here. He's just way up at the very top head of the tippy top head of the hole. Boy, look at him, dog. I cannot get him to turn. Chill out. He do these these fish. They just get so they're like pointed down into the current. Come on, man. Come this way. He's got a scar from heck out him. Come on. <gasps> there we go. Oh, that's a nice fish, man. That's a really nice brown trout. A really nice brown trout. I didn't realize how big it was, I don't think. He's got a heck of a scar on him, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I just caught my third brown of the day, I think. It's a hefty fish, fat, but he's got some kind of funky looking scars on him. It's actually a she. Got some funky looking scars on her. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Again, not a giant brown trout, but you can't really complain much when you're out here fishing streamers. And that's why you hold them over the water. I'm gonna go ahead and get this fish released and then we will continue on up the creek. I just hooked what I think is a nice fish, guys. My, holy cow. Jeez, dude. Gotta try to get below it. I just lost my net. Stop that. Why is my drag not coming out? Are you a brown trout? Oh my gosh. Je Jesus, dude. It's like I can't even, I can't get above it, man. I'm gonna eat. Shh. Stop it. Please, man, just turn your head for a second this is not good oh that's why he's fighting like that he's hooked in the side i'm gonna run out of breath don't you please chill out okay new new idea so you kind of basically put him in the shallows man Holy cow. 
No, don't do it again. Holy freaking. I'm out of breath. I'm gonna pass out. That's a fat brown trout, holy cow. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So there's not really a good place to set up the camera. So I just really awkwardly bend over for a second. This is my biggest fish of the day. And I caught him in just a real shallow riff. I wasn't recording for it. And it hit and I, I guess he swirled on it. And he kind of got snagged in the bottom of the belly basically, which is why I could not turn his head and he just kept running down the river. But I finally got him. He's a nice fish, man. Again, I don't know if he's quite 20. I should probably bring a measuring tape. Maybe I'll put this one on the rod real quick just to get a general idea of how big this fish is, but he's so healthy, he's thick. And um, yeah, I'm gonna hold him up just briefly and then we'll get him released. Chill. All right, so this is honestly probably one of the best days of streamer fishing I've had in a really long time. Not that I've really been attempting it recently, but the weather kind of just set up for it. It doesn't look like streamer conditions now, but you know, earlier this afternoon it was raining and thundering and everything else. And I was like, ah, let's just go see if we can't catch a few fish on streamers. And it's been pretty hot. Um, I don't know when this video will come out because I think I'll probably continue to fish a little bit longer, see if I can catch some slightly bigger fish because I don't think I've quite broken that 20 inch mark yet, but I've come close. So I'm just gonna keep grinding it out and who knows, maybe I'll get one by the end of the day today. Who, who am I to say? I would be shocked if I didn't move around in here. It's got wood, good cover. I mean, Mr. Brown ought to be just living over there, man. Mr. Brown ought to be living over there. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, that's a nice fish. Real nice fish. I called that one. Can you come back up a little bit? I wish he'd come up the creek and not down the river. What is up with these fish doing that? I called that one. When you're fighting decent fish guys, in the ideal world, you get down below them, although that's not always possible. So what I'm gonna do is I go down like this, put some side pressure on them. I could probably net them now if I had the net out, but I don't. But I'm about to. Stay up here above me, please, sir. And there he is. That was a called fish. I mean, I called that one. He's probably 18 to 20. I saw him swirl at it and miss it. It's probably an 18 or 19er. I saw him swirl at it and miss it. Then came back for it right there. Brown trout fishing's heating up, boys. Heating up. Look at him. What a beautiful fish. Get over here and then show them off for you guys. What a beautiful brownie. Gorgeous fish, man. Gorgeous fish. That's a nice brown trout. Real nice brown trout. Holy cow, look at him go. That is a lot of power, guys. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this fish. He's so pretty. It's a real nice brown. I wanna try to get him way over here in this calm stuff. Can you come over here to this calm stuff? Ooh, that's a 20. <laughs> that's a 20. It's a 20 I've been looking for. I did put on some 3X, which don't do that, dude. I did put on some 3X. I'm gonna be a little bit more gentle with this fish if I can. If I can get him across this current, I think I'll be I'll be golden. But 
getting him across the current's gonna be something else. Like, he has got this six weight bent. Bent. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I am trying. I mean, I can't put much more on this fish. Sometimes brown trout just dog, and when they dog, man, good luck. Okay, can you? Are you gonna come all the way across here for me? Yes. Keep coming. Come on. Side pressure is key. Keep coming. If I can get him across me and on this other side of me, I think I'll be golden. Honestly, I should probably have the net out right now. That stuck on me. This is what happens when you. Why is the net stuck? Oh no. Oh no. That's on me. I'll still probably be able to get him. I'm not waiting right now, so my waiters have my like net on them. Can I get you out of that current, buddy? You wanna come over here? No. He said, boy, I don't wanna go over there. <laughs> the way he's hooked, it's just really hard for me to get enough pressure, side pressure, to get him across this current. Like he's just sitting there like a sail in the wind. This might be it right here. Come on over here, buddy. No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Apparently he does have to do that. Uh, I need to swoop my right hand. Don't do that, come back over here. Let me get you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Yep. I come across this current scene. Okay, I got him in the current shallows now, boys. Let's go! It's a big freaking brown Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Am I recording? Yeah, dude, that's a giant! That's over 20 without a doubt. That's over 20. Not even close. I didn't realize how big this fish was, honestly. What a beast, man. Jeez. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, this is just a beast of a brown, and quite honestly, I didn't realize how big this fish was when I hooked it. I thought he was like maybe 20, and he's definitely over 20. I'll, um, I'll try to get him measured on my rod and then get a true measurement for you guys, but I would guess 22-ish, give or take an inch. Um, just an absolute beast of a brown, but I'm gonna hold it up real quick for you guys. It's a big old male, too. He's not happy, by the way. So, do not be surprised. He about disappeared, boys. What an absolute brown. What a brown. Look at that fella. Chill. Look at him. Chill. That's a nice brown shot, guys. As far as male browns go, it just doesn't get much better. And this fish is so ready to go, it's not even funny. So, I guess I'll get another shot of him and then release them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's really honestly what I was out for. That's the fish that I was trying to catch for, you know, the last two days that I've been streamer fishing, uh, which is basically this video. I mean, just an absolute beautiful, like, perfect specimen of a male brown. Um, I'll measure the fish when I get home and I'll put like it up like right here or something. I'll say how big it is. But just a gorgeous brown. And whew, I've seen a few that are similarly sized to that one. But I'd say that's probably one of the bigger browns I've moved in the last two days of fishing. And by days, I mean the last two after work sessions that I've had. So I'm just going to keep fishing up through here. It should only get better um, just because the sun's starting to drop and set. And the sun actually came out briefly and I didn't really see anything when the sun came out. But the sun's dropping behind the hills now. This is when the big mamas come out to play. So got big papa. Let's see if we can find big mama. If not, I'm still thrilled. Yeah.